Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be touching base on NEO stock. There is a lot to talk about with this name, not only because they had some absolutely amazing delivery numbers coming out for June of 2021, but there's also a lot to talk about of a certain pattern that just got produced on the chart and what this could mean for NEO stock going forward. So I do want to share with you guys why this is going to be an absolutely huge week for NEO stock and really what we should be expecting not only for this week Week and going forward, but for the long term, what we should do as NEO investors. Now, I first want to share with you guys this article talking about NEO's deliveries, what exactly happened, and what we can expect going into the future. You can see that right now, NEO delivered around 8,000 vehicles, and that was a 20% increase to last month when NEO reported around 6,700 deliveries. But really, what's most important here was a 120% growth year over year. So that is absolutely amazing and showing that NEO is really beating the odds, beating what people really thought was possible for a brand new company and as you guys can see this has been an amazing quarter for NEO even though the beginning of the year was very tough for other EV companies and for just any company at all that relied on chip manufacturing. Now, as you can see, the article goes on to talk about Xpeng and explain why this company has also done absolutely amazing over the last quarters. And really, I'm not trying to knock Neo and I'm not trying to knock Xpeng. Both are amazing companies, but I want you guys to realize that they did report a whopping 620% increase year over year deliveries. So even though Neo is the big name in China and the name that we know very well, don't take your eye off Xpeng because they are growing exponentially quicker and this is going to be part of the key to dominating that Chinese market, how quickly you can grow, how quickly you can produce new vehicles, and really how quickly you can fulfill those orders which are stacking up for companies like Neo, Xpeng, and Tesla. All right, guys, now we are looking at the price action over the last few months for NEO stock, and this is going to be one of the most critical things to look at in order to know what will be happening in the short term for NEO stock and in the long term as well. But right now, what we are going to be watching and the pattern that I was referencing in the beginning of the video that we do not want to see happening with NEO stock is going to be three black crows. Now I'm going to flash it on the screen right now what this pattern looks like in a textbook definition. But here on Neo stock, we are getting the beginnings of that pattern. So this is a very, very dangerous point where Neo stock is either teetering on the edge of a major bounce up above $55 and possibly to our target around $70 a share. Or if this pattern does get formed over the next few days and hours, then this will be a very bad confirmation of a negative downturn for Neo stock, potentially taking us below $45 a share and back down to our support at $40. Now you guys know me, I am very bullish on the stock market and as a result, I do not want this pattern to form. I hope that we continue pushing higher and I will be hedging my shares as a result. I will not be selling my shares. I'll be buying some shorter term puts if this pattern does form, but ultimately I want you guys to keep this in the back of your mind. This pattern, as I do explain what I think will be happening with NEO stock over the next few days, because if we do get a third red candle here on this trend or potentially an open lower and then another red bar pushing down, this will be a ultimate confirmation that NEO is not in a good spot and that maybe we should cool off on the buying as we do need to talk about the reason why NEO made this run and why we should be careful of what could happen next. Now, thinking back to about one week ago, you guys might remember that NEO was waiting on its delivery numbers, and this is one of the major reasons why there was a massive run from around $35 a share up to $55 a share. NEO was expected to do very well on its deliveries, but not only that, they delivered and delivered very greatly, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video. So obviously, there is no reason for the stock to be declining in that space, but this is more one of those times when there is buying of a rumor and then selling of the news. So even though NEO stock was exactly as expected, that was the problem with the news. It was exactly as expected. So even though the stock ran up, it ran up too far too fast and it was not able to hold up those new gains. So as you can see, we have declined from around $55 to 50, but I don't think that that is a very negative sign. I think that this is more of a healthy pullback and I don't think that it will really be a negative sign unless we get a breakdown below $48 and below the top of this wedge. So again, guys, if you remember last week's video on NEO stock, 
I talked about how this wedge was the confirmation of a beginning of a run, but also it would give us a confirmation of a second leg if we were going to be breaking above $48 a share. If we did come above the head of the wedge here, the top of the wedge, and that's exactly what happened. We came above and then saw two or three days of absolutely rocketing on NEO from around 46 to 55 in just two days. So again, guys, that is some massive price action. And with options trading, that could have netted you around 30% in a single day. So don't sleep on options trading if you haven't checked it out yet. It is a little bit more for advanced people, but I do have it for absolutely free in the Discord link down below where I put all my plays and signals almost on a daily basis or whenever I do be making my plays. So as always, make sure you check that out for free. But getting back here to NEO stock, there is a lot of potential for an options trade. And like I was even explaining at the beginning of the technical analysis, there's a lot of potential for even a hedging bet if you are in on some longer term shares, but do wanna make a lot of money in the short term, try to put some puts on NEO once we get that confirmation of a third Third red candle if we do get the confirmation of a three black crows pattern so obviously that's very negative but in the short term that could be very lucrative for a lot of investors as always guys i hope you the best for neo stock and any other stocks you might be trading this week we are going to get some new all-time highs on the dow on the spy etc so as always keep your eye on apple and amd two of our most favorite stocks to trade here on the channel and also space stock which we talked about recently has been having some massive price action so as always guys if you have enjoyed those plays i'm very very happy if you were able to profit off them but as always i hope all your plays are in the green